Hello everybody. So today, I'm going to show you guys how you can get automatic updates on Windows XP in 2022. This, this right here is just a clean install of XP and this is kind of the stuff you're going to, you're going, well, not, not my pal, this is just with the browser I installed, but this and these two things here, and then this, so the root certificate updates, I recommend installing those too because otherwise there's certain updates from what, as far as I know, that might not install otherwise, so. So what we're gonna do is, first I'm gonna show you guys, like right now, if we were to go, um, updates. Yeah, if we were to try to go to Windows Update, yeah. Well, as you can see, nothing's really gonna, it's not gonna really work. You can't even, I don't even think you can update doing it like this anymore, so. Yeah, you know, you'll see if we go to my computer. <clears throat> Windows XP 32-bit. Um, yeah. So anyways. First thing you're going to want to do is update the uh, Windows Update Agent. And... The, the links for this stuff I will put in the description, but... Yeah, the Windows Update Agent version 3.0, 32-bit. So that's out of the way. And then... Next up, we'll do uh, this update. We'll go ahead and... You would go here, drag and drop WLU file. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in, complete to install. And then last but not least, we're going to move that. And we're going to go ahead and Add that to the registry. The Windows WSUS is Windows Server Update Service. Like I'm gonna show you guys here. Here it just shows Windows Update. When that you're also when you reboot after we reboot, you're going to have the option to use the Windows Server Update Service, which is where we're gonna get the updates from. So the WSUS dot reg. We're gonna click yes and then we're gonna go ahead and restart. So Yep, and then give it a moment, make sure the disk thrashing calms down a bit, and then we'll go ahead. I just do include superseded, and then give it a moment, search for updates, 
for XP 32 bit. Yeah, see, Windows Server update service. And then sometime, hopefully this will Then you just gotta give this a minute. Yeah, there we go. 261 updates. And while we're at it, guys, another thing that could be useful, you know, to, you know, speed it up a bit, would be uh, the uh, unofficial service pack 4 for XP. So Windows XP service pack 4. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a gigabyte. <laughs> As you can see, it might take like 12 minutes or so to download, but um, I think once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you guys how to install it. It's pretty simple, and I, and I can even show you guys how much time, in the long run, it'll save. You know, when it comes to installing updates, like, instead of, what, 261 updates? It'll take care of a lot of them for you. And also, I think the next video we'll do is... I'm going to explain to you guys how to get the, you know, um, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Someone was detected at the front door. Um, yeah, sorry about that, but, uh. Anyways, guys, so yeah, POS Ready 2009 was the point of sale version of XP, and considering it came out in 2009, when, uh, you know, that's the year when, or actually, I think, what was it, late 2008, when, uh, it was shortly, a few months before Windows 7 came out, and it had support until, like, 12th of April 2019 or something like that I think it was something from that around there somewhere so I, I, I'll show you guys how to get those updates I don't think we're going to get them as it stands now, but since it's based off of the XP 32 bit, it's literally <laughs> Microsoft was so lazy, they didn't even bother um, changing the uh, changing it to like Windows embedded PO, like the start, the boot up screen was literally said it was the same Windows XP start start screen so and it's also NT 5.1 so
I think at this point I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna just speed it up for you guys and because it's gonna still take another like eight minutes and I'm trying not to drag out the video for too long so I'll, or I'll, I'll speed it up or I'll just cut out this part all together until it's done up until the download is finished so, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, everybody. So, <clears throat> as you can see, now it finished downloading the XP, Windows XP unofficial service pack 4. We'll hit run. Windows XP Service Pack 4. Keep in mind with um, this program called Nlight, you could actually slipstream it into the ISO too. So we're just not gonna we're not gonna archive the files. We're just gonna wait for that and then. Running processes before install, stopping services. We're gonna let that install. Creating restore points. Inst All right, now it's installing those files. And then we'll, we'll reboot and we'll have to reboot again because of course, it's going to have us reboot after this. <clears throat> yeah, you can see there's a lot, there are a lot of updates. A lot of DLLs and updating registry keys. Running processes after install. Yep, now we're going to go ahead and restart. And... Windows is shutting down. I'll protect your feet. Nope, not now. Just, we're gonna wait for it to finish loading. Just give it a minute. So keep in mind, we just installed a lot of updates in that service pack, that unofficial service pack four, which. This, that, that's going to be a part of, um, I think in the next video, we're, I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, get the POS Ready 2009 updates on here. If, assuming that they don't show up already, I'll show you guys how to get those up and running, but I think... Installing service pack 4 is part is definitely part of it. So
hopefully this won't take too long. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because we did just install a lot of updates, so. But. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna I may have to force reset the VM because oh see there we go so it just finished thankfully again it took a while because there were quite a few updates that we installed see we got our internet so WSUS all right we want W Windows, now let's see how many updates there are, now that we... You know, of course we're including superseded updates. I think, yeah, before there was like around, what, 261 or something like that? So... Let's see how many there are now. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna still be, there's gonna still be updates, probably, but... Hopefully way fewer, considering... We just installed pretty much a gig of... Updates. We have an internet connection, so... Hmm... Again, sometimes this thing can will fail and give an error, which hopefully won't happen. Um, I have another machine I did this on. Well, you know, the Windows Server Update Service with the Windows Update Mini Tool with a 64-bit XP. But that doesn't have... For starters, 64-bit XP is based off of the um, NT... 5.2 kernel not 5.1 so you know it doesn't have three service packs it only has two it's based it's essentially uh, like server 2003 server 2003 both the 32 and the 64 bit is NT 5.2 I mean, a lot of people say XP 64-bit is no good and that they use 32-bit for, um, you know, compatibility reasons, but 64-bit XP has a SysWow 64 folder. I, I do not understand. 32-bit programs run on 64-bit XP just fine. And after you install all of your updates, especially your post service pack two updates, it's probably equally as good if if not better than thirty two bit. I just don't see what the huge pry people are staying away from it because most people, you know, thirty two bit XP, you know, was obviously the first one to come out in two thousand one. 64 bit or at least the x64 edition didn't come out until like april of 2005 i think so because the uh first 60 x64 cpus were oh hey we we got it appears that we have yeah, see, Windows XP embedded, 200 of those updates. To start with, 
remember, once once you install a lot of these updates, there's gonna be succeeded updates. I'm I'm obviously I'm not gonna install them right now because that's just gonna take forever to do, but this kind of gives look six six Windows XP and that's kind of what we were looking at before. Before there was two sixty one, now there's six. That's how that shows you how many updates were installed. And then you know, that's excluding the embedded which is <clears throat> Yeah, see? Security update for WES two thousand uh, WES O nine, which is Windows embedded standard zero nine. And then POS Ready 2009. These are these are the states that it was put on like on uh, the WSUS servers. But you know you can see November 2018, February 2019, April 2019. There's stuff from 2018 over here. March 2018, April 2018. May 29th. Ooh, here's a May of 2019. Wow. So it actually has an update from even after April of 2019. And it's, it, it's, I mean, unless the updates fail and after I, you know, stop the bit. But I'm pretty, from what I, as far as I know, that's pretty much all you got to do. You know, just install service, the unofficial service pack 4. I promise you it's not a virus. I think I even downloaded the EXE on my main computer. You know, obviously this is a, a, a virtual machine. I must say I'm pretty impressed, again, you know, with uh, how VMware... When in full screen, it pretty much looks like... It almost looks like it's a, a physical... Un, you know, XP's on my physical PC, except obviously it's not. But I didn't even realize there was a May of 2019 update for POS Ready 2009, because I could have sworn it dropped support in April. Unless Microsoft might have maybe released it a little later, because maybe there was an X, like a a security thing that because it was only a month after POS Ready 2009 ended. So, so basically, essentially that's like for XP, if you include the POS Ready 2009 updates, I mean POS, POS Ready 2009 by itself had kind of an average lifespan of a little over 10 years, but you know, if you include, like, all of NT 5.1, you know, the Windows Media Center Edition 2005, the Windows XP, you know, regular Windows XP 32-bit, and POS Ready, 2000, to, POS Ready 2009 updates work on XP 32-bit, so that's, like, that's a solid, um, 17... A little over 17 and a half years of updates if you include that May of 2019 one that's right here that's like almost 18 years of support which that just shows you how good XP what XP itself had um was supported from October 25th of 2001 to April 8th of 2014 I thought I heard somewhere that um at Microsoft was going to drop support earlier, but, you know, just the fact that of the, the wide range of hardware that XP supports from, literally from, like, some of the older Pentiums to all the way up to, like, Ivy Bridge Intel CPUs, third gen Core i3s, i5s, and i7s, you know, it's pretty impressive. And for AMD, maybe like the AMD K6, maybe from like late 90s all the way to, you know, the FX series. Yeah, I know the FX series wasn't really great, but 
like it wasn't efficient but it did have somewhat decent performance i in my main machine i have um i still like intel better i've used intel a lot more i have an i9 12900k but You know, but hey, that doesn't mean AMD's bad. They have improved. I'll admit, they have definitely improved, you know, with their Ryzen CPUs. You know, they're actually pushing Intel to make more than four cores and eight threads on their i7 every generation, all the way up to the Kaby Lake CPUs. So. Anyways, guys, I mean, thank you so much for watching, and then, also, I think in an upcoming video, I might show, I'll show you guys how to run Steam on Windows XP. There is this one guy's video I saw, I think it was released in uh, March of 2021, it was this guy named, uh, shark vader and he released this video on how to how do you steam on xp and vista you know in 2021 and i don't know i have no idea why but the video got taken down so i think i'm gonna i may repost i, I was through the uh The Wayback Machine, I was able to, I was, thankfully, it's still on his Google Drive, and uh, the, the, the old Steam package, and the, um, the config that, v, the config that VDF file was still on his drive, but I downloaded it on a different machine I have that's running, that one I was telling you before that's running 64-bit XP. I may, uh, I might repost those links, and I'll show you guys how to upload it. Hopefully, it won't get taken down on my, my channel, but, you know, because that really, it bugs me. I don't know why YouTube did that, but I'm going to try to show you guys how to do that in the next video, I think. So, probably with this XP install, too. Yeah, it's for both XP and vista so anyways guys i'll see you guys soon in, in the next video and thank you all for watching